With the house up for sale on the market, there's a problem I'd like to solve with an ESP8266 and my front door. The problem is when you have to be out of the house for showings when people come to look, it can consume a lot of time and it would be good to have an idea when it's safe to come back home. So I'm going to make use of the existing security system, which is disabled right now, and I'm going to have an ESP8266 monitor the switch on my front door. That way I'll know when people have arrived and most likely when people have left and it's safe to come home and I don't have to stay out hours at a time possibly. In the control panel for the security system, there's this bundle of cables from all the sensors and switches with hand labeled stickers around them. So this one starts with FR, but I can't really read it. They kind of labeled it and then put it on, so you can't read it. But I assume that's the front door. And it's also convenient, this one's gray when most of the rest are white. So I followed it and the gray one comes here. And there's a yellow and green wire going to a couple of terminals on this terminal block. So I'm going to use this meter in resistance mode instead of continuity mode because I don't want the annoying constant beep while the front door is closed. And I'm going to hook it directly on. So the meter is directly across the door switch and with the door closed it should be short circuit. If I put it in continuity mode, of course it's beeping and it's annoying. So I'm going to leave this in resistance and I'm going to go and open and close the door and see that this works. I'm going to open and close the door, see what happens. Lock box on the front doorknob is in the way. There. Nuisance. To have the ESP8266 send an email when we want, we're going to make use of the IFTTT website service, which is if this then that. What this service does is allow us to set up some condition that can be triggered and it can control actions on other apps. For example, we can have it send a certain email if someone tweets with a certain hashtag, etc. There's a lot of things that can be done. You can go to the IFTTT website for more. And to get the ESP8266 to be able to send an email, we're using the webhook service of IFTTT. So what we can do is go in and create a trigger on this service, and then when a certain web page is accessed, from the ESP8266 over Wi-Fi, it will trigger the event which sends an email alert in this case, or you could do some other action. So all you need is to have the ESP connected to Wi-Fi, have a valid link after you configure these services, and that's it. So once you have an account created at ifttt.com, you can set up three of these applets for free. So clicking on create, First we add the if condition. We need to choose a service, so type in webhooks and click that. Then click to say that we want to receive a web request. And that means whenever a certain web link is accessed, it will trigger what we are setting up. So we give it a name, and since I'm monitoring my front door, I'm going to call it front door accessed and create trigger. Now the condition to trigger has been set up. So now we click for what we want to do once triggered. The service I want is to send an email, so I search for email and click email. Then I choose send me an email. And here I can customize what the email subject and main body text is going to be if I want, or I could just leave this and create. So now I created a trigger and an action, so I continue. And there's a summary, so if we trigger the front door accessed event by accessing a certain web link, then we'll send an email to ourselves. So we finish. And of course, in order to authenticate this so only we can do this, we need our API key. So if we go explore and type in webhooks and go to services, 
then click on webhooks, then click on documentation. Here we'll see our API key and a summary of things we can do. So basically this link right here with our API key at the end and whatever the name of our trigger event is, in my case front door accessed will go here. We can send this link directly into a browser address bar and it would trigger this and send us an email. We can also test it here by clicking this. It will send us an email as if the event were triggered. So now that we have all the info we need, we can go work on a sketch for the ESP. The sketch I came up with is a combination of some usual Wi-Fi ESP8266 stuff, as well as from Googling around for how to use if this then that. So a lot of this is just standard stuff. So whatever event name you came up with on the website and whatever your API key is for this website, you would enter those there. And later in the sketch, when it's time to trigger an email event, these strings here get combined together and it gets sent out to IFTTT and you get the email alert. In this sketch, I am hooked up to my front door switch, so I'm using GPIO D5. And whenever this switch has been opened, I want to get an email alert. And I'm making use of the onboard ESP8266 LED on GPIO D4. So while I'm joining the network, it will blink to show me that it's trying to join, and it will stay off when I have joined. Standard setup things for Wi-Fi. My door switch is an input pin with a pull-up built in, so the switch connects it to ground or allows the ESP to pull it up. Then the standard code for joining a Wi-Fi network, and while waiting to join, we're printing out status indicator dots in the serial monitor and blinking the onboard LED. In the loop, we are just continually checking if the front door has been opened, and if so, print out the info, turn on the LED to show an event is triggered, then try to connect to ifttt.com, then we send out our custom link with our event name and API key, and I don't choose to do it in this sketch, but if I uncomment this, we can also print out on the serial monitor what ifttt.com is reporting back, so it confirms that there has been an event, and some other info. And once we get through here, the event has been triggered, so I disconnect from IFTTT, and I don't know how clean the door switch is, but after all this has happened when the door is first opened, I still wait five seconds in case it's doing multiple triggers if the door is only slightly open or something. And I assume whoever is either entering or exiting the house is going to be doing so for longer than five seconds. So at this point, I assume the door is just going to be held open for a while. And I wait here until it's closed again. And that means, ideally, someone has finished coming or going through the door. So I turn off the status LED to show the door is closed. And we repeat the loop. And again, check and wait until the door is open and send another email alert. So just doing a test with this hooked up on the workbench, we can look at the serial monitor. And if I reset the board, the LED blinks to show I'm connecting. Now I've connected. Here's my IP address and we are waiting for an event to trigger. I have a wire here that simulates the door switch on the GPIO. So if I pull this out, I should simulate opening the door and get an email event. The LED came on because the door is open. The event is triggered and we are contacting ifttt.com. And there's our alert. If I can focus. So we're done triggering the email event, but the door is technically still open because I did not reconnect the GPIO to ground. So I'll do that. The light went off because the door is closed. Now we're waiting again for another event. Now I have Node MCU down here and the USB side is plugged into this wall charger. The door switch is completely disconnected from this control board, so it only goes to the Node MCU ground and GPIO input. So when I give this power, 
we should see the Wi-Fi join LED flashing. And it stopped flashing, so it should be all connected, waiting for a door open event. And there's enough clearance down here. I can get this panel door closed and Really, with the mess around here, nobody's going to notice a USB cable hanging out. I will tape all of this up, but it goes together just fine. So now I'm going to go see if I can open the front door and get an email. So here's my phone. Lock screen is on, as usual. I only have two hands, so I'm going to open the door, see what happens. And there it is, if I can focus. This is all set and ready to go. So on the next showing, I will now hopefully have a way to know when somebody has arrived, when they've left, and when I can come home instead of guessing do I have to stay out another hour. Just out killing time and I got an alert that somebody has gone through the front door. And I just got an alert a couple of minutes ago it's time to go home. Let's get out of here.